If you want to make low poly faces like these, then you came to the right place. First, you would need to add a cube. Then, you have to stretch it vertically until it is as tall as one head of a person. Using the loop cut tool, you will cut a loop in front of the face and another loops on the created left and right sides of the face. Then do the same thing on either the left or the right side of the cube. Equip the edge tool and then select all the edge corners of the cube. Then, pull all the edges into the center, but only slightly. It is so to create the circular-ish shape of the skull. Then select all the main center loop cuts and pull it outwards just a little bit. You then select these four faces and pull it upwards. Then, with the vertex tool, select the corners of these faces and pull it down slightly. Again with the loop cut, we now have made three horizontal cuts on the cube. These loop cuts are for three things. The forehead, the eye placement, and the length of the nose. Then pull the diameter of the top head slightly inwards so that it would better the look of the face. Select these edges and pull it forward. This would be the start of the character's forehead. Adjust the last loop cut accordingly to how long you want the nose to be. Turn on the mirror feature to make it easy for you to shape the jaw and the chin. Then continue shaping until you are satisfied. Pull the middle vertex forward and that will become the nose. Then continue shaping. This would be the end result. For the neck, we just add a simple cylinder mesh. Add a horizontal loop cut on the neck to lessen the stiffness. For the ears, we add another cylinder, rotate it, shape it, and mirror duplicate it to the other side. Now, this is technically finished, but, let's make it look even better. Add another cube as we will be making a better looking nose. After simply shaping the nose, this is the result. 